Hi Sagittarius, what's up? Welcome to your November reading. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day. Thank you so much for being here and for all of your love and support. I truly appreciate you. We're going to be seeing what messages you come through to you guys throughout the month of November. Get you some insight, get you some guidance. Overall, see what you need to know, look out for, be aware of. If this reading is helpful or insightful, let me know by leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. Private readings are available in the description box below. I am still behind on requests um, so just be patient with me as I get a chance to respond to your email thank you so much you guys um, but yeah let's get into this reading strategy let's see what you need to know what you need to look out for and see what's going on we have the nectar as your first card out be open to receive we have the riddle And the orphan. Oh. This is kind of giving, if you love something, let it go. That's literally what I'm picking up on, just like right off the bat. There is this energy of receiving and needing to be open. And there's a lot of good things flowing into you. There's a lot of abundance, a lot of beauty, a lot of pleasure, a lot of love, a lot of support. But in order to let that in, it requires you to let something go. You have to have the space for this. And so it, you might be like, this is a riddle. Like, life is just testing me. Like, this doesn't make any sense. You know, maybe you're trying to make sense of some sort of ending or some sort of loss with the orphan. You may be an orphan or maybe you were abandoned at some point in time in your life in some sort of relationship. Maybe something to do with childhood or maybe this is just a relationship recently. But it is showing that there is something that left you and it left you because the universe has something of equivalence or even higher quality higher status higher like i'm seeing that month of november is about being open can you be open can you allow yourself to receive something more something better the hands in all these cards right we see the hand reaching out here someone might be reaching out to you we have the riddle and there's these hands over here got someone doing this sign i don't know what the fuck that means <laughs> we have a hand reaching like this so look at the hands there's like reaching out um and then with the orphan again another hand reaching out there's something this is kind of this is also giving the whole like rejection redirection that sometimes dead ends help us find paths about our journey about ourselves we didn't even know we're there but if it wasn't for these losses we would never have come across this blessing like definitely blessing in disguise blessing in disguise we have the mother at the bottom with apocalypse mm. and the temple well it is showing that you are definitely divinely protected you are being watched over your guides angels ancestors there around you you are needing to get centered and ground yourself or maybe do some kind of ritual a little bit of a cleansing or a prayer maybe you need to go to church maybe you need to pray to god <laughs> or like a higher power um or you're really just needing to just cleanse your space cleanse yourself cleanse your energy of any negativity um but this is also giving like prayers right there's some sort of prayer being answered but it is a bit chaotic with apocalypse this is also about removing the mask removing the deceit the deception the lies the rose colored glasses and it's kind of like well what is the truth what's really going on here this is maybe if, uh, i'm seeing that this could be connected to like an actual feminine energy a mother figure um it doesn't have to be but the mother this is like something about giving life giving birth giving creation um but yet it's kind of spiraled out of control here with apocalypse like something that you have initiated seems like it's taken a wild turn and you don't know why I'm hearing you don't know why i don't know why and it's interesting how in the riddle and the orphan we have the snake pattern in the riddle and then we have the snake and the orphan so there's something about like shedding an old skin there's something about even if there's a snake in your life right you may be like oh maybe they've changed but a snake that sheds its skin it's still a snake lipstick on a pig is still a pig it just got lipstick on it like it's kind of like it is what it is but yeah, so some of you, I mean, 
with the orphan there is this energy of cutting some sort of tie or cutting your losses um oh and the snake's also in the mother too i just realized i just realized so snake animal snake animal might be important for you saggy maybe you have a snake tattoo or you have a pet snake if you have a pet snake comment down below that that's wild <laughs> that's crazy I, I remember i had a friend who had a pet snake and she had to feed him like live crickets and ooh, 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 like mm -mm, not my kind of thing but hey to each their own right <laughs> but yeah okay all right hmm let's just keep this in mind we'll move on we'll move this to the side over here i'm gonna pull you a couple cards from the everything oracle just get some general themes messages confirmations um shout outs you know whatever spirit wants to talk about in this deck the everything oracle for sagittarius in the month of november what messages do we have for sagittarius sun moon rising venus november 2024 please show me clearly what my sagittarius need to know what i'm aware of what can sagittarius oops this is hard trying we have car something about a car this was me that i like you know i went to grab the deck and this card just kind of stuck out i was like let me take a peek some of you there well hopefully it's not car troubles you might need to change your tires <laughs> then maybe you're well some of y'all you're buying a new car awesome love that for you enjoy get it inspected all right what's going on for sagittarius what's this they will reach out oh well interesting because we had the hands the hands the hands and it was like this reaching out extending are you rejecting someone what's at the bottom lighter colored hair it could be with somebody so they will reach out you might be dealing with somebody who has light or colored hair who could be reaching out to you saji or you may have light or colored hair all right we have angel guidance or numbers with three will social media we have past or past life with long term what's long term healer at the bottom what's long term new job or increase oh okay and we also have house or move Ooh. all right we have a lot to talk about here a lot to talk about we have healer again at the bottom definitely seeing that november is going to be a month of healing and purification transformation we are in scorpio season this whole death rebirth scorpio season is really allowing us to take a look at our shower shadows i was gonna say showers <laughs> okay you're gonna need cleanse right shower energetic shower as well as spiritual shower spiritual bath okay anyways we're in scorpio season if you're a sagittarius rising sorry i'm hearing distractions in the back if you're a sagittarius rising this is your 12th house season so you are really clearing out the cobwebs but this is necessary um so let's start off with the whole like they will reach out well it's interesting how social media fell on top of this card so it would not surprise me if you get like a dm or like instagram or i mean oh there's my dog going crazy protect your energy <laughs> right whenever my dog barks she's like barking because she's trying to protect um and there's like people that just walk around the neighborhood of course free free will you do you um it seems like every time i go to talk she starts to bark so i don't have something in my eye okay but yeah someone's gonna reach out via social media someone could be watching you on social media if you are public you have things that you are posting and anybody has access to what you are putting out there in the world um yeah there, there's someone here who's making themselves known their presence is going to be known in the near future okay we have angel guidance or numbers so definitely keep your eyes peeled drop down below in the comments what angel numbers are following you for me i've been seeing 11 11 i've seen 444 like <laughs> definitely loving those numbers 444 stability um 111 i would see like ones as like new beginnings new path new energy so you know comment down below what angel numbers have you been seeing on the regular lately definitely curious definitely curious literally free will one 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 <laughs> so you know you got free will um past or past life you have the ability to do things differently in this lifetime and in november it's like you have this opportunity coming up that you can like break the chain break the pattern and really 
take the alternate path if you want if you choose you don't have to i am also seeing something about a house or a move for some of you or you might be considering that looking into that looking out you know what's what's the real estate looking like the house market all that stuff doing some research maybe you're getting um someone to do a house inspection or like a guesstimation of what your property is worth. I don't remember the proper term for that, but you know, or someone maybe works in real estate. I'm seeing some new, new job or increase. Maybe you're getting a, a job in real estate. That's really specific. Comment down below if that's you. Um, but new job or increase, shout out. I'm seeing somebody here and this was long term because I was like, okay, what's long term, right? When this card came out, I was like, what's long term? This was the next one that came out. So I'm seeing this new job that you are being accepted in. Maybe you're going for an interview in the near future or you have recently gotten an interview call back and you're starting next week or, you know, whatever. I'm seeing that this holds the potential to be something long term. You know, obviously, if you're satisfied, if you're enjoying this, awesome. I'm also seeing if you're not starting a new job, I'm seeing an increase in your pay. I'm seeing like you're gaining more money this month. November, claim it down in the comments below. November will be your most successful month yet. Your highest paycheck yet. It's going to be a great great month especially financially for you so claim that call it in you know you might stumble across um money somehow somewhere maybe just money falls into your lap out of the blue unexpectedly money that was owed to you or like a refund or i don't know but i'm seeing money's coming to you you are a money magnet saggy you're a money magnet see like if you lost some sort of money the orphan right you're like oh, i've lost it guess what more is coming your way you're attracting more of that towards you with your frequency with your energy it's been, you know it might be a little bit of a test right with the riddle from earlier there may be a little bit of a test like can you just let go not cling on so tightly can you just let go and surrender because when you do that that's when everything just flows to you much easier all right so we're gonna get into the tarot your numbers are 32 1 81 111 111 34 80, 55, and 3. So those numbers might be important for someone. It could be a favorite number, angel number, <laughs> address, phone number, uh, birthday, birth year, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Y'all know what I mean. Okay. So. All right, Saggy. What's going on for Sagittarius? Month of November 2024. What do you guys need to know? Look out for, be aware of. Oh, this was a fail. I think maybe the deck's ready. Four ones at the bottom. Let's get into it. Sagittarius. Oh my god, that was so fast. That was so fast. Nine of Pentacles. So, November. You're getting your independence. You're getting your confidence. You're feeling real good about yourself. Mm hmm. You feel very optimistic about your path, where you're headed, where you're going. You just are certain, locked in. Mm hmm. With the Five of Pentacles at the bottom. Okay. So, you found a solution. Especially, again, we're talking a lot about finances and money. And seeing here, you're getting yourself out of a very tricky situation or a situation where you have been, uh, you know, just at the shitty end of the stick. Especially financially or work-wise or just in, like, the material world. There's some kind of help. The Nine of Pentacles is all about freedom, independence, and just sustainability. So I'm seeing you're getting yourself out of, like, a really tricky situation here with the Five of Pentacles. What else is here? chariot mm -hmm. so you're overcoming this obstacle what else we have and the fool oh see look at you heading into a brand new beginning so we have aries energy aquarius as well as cancer um we actually have pluto moving to aquarius this month i can't remember the exact date but it's around i think it's the 17th oh it's hit my lip <laughs> all right what's going on for sagittarius yeah, I'm seeing you becoming more free, more independent, self-reliant, just well off. What's going on for Sagittarius? There we go. Empress. Mm -hmm. Two cups at the bottom. I'm seeing something about a connection relationship here. Watch out with pregnancies. Or I'm seeing um, between two people here. Oh, there's some interesting energy. I'm seeing a lot of things. Okay. I'm seeing that there is like a connection that's developing almost like as if you and this person are having an energetic baby. <laughs> like they're, Imagine the baby is the relationship. There's you, there's them, y'all come together. Um, you know, there's this bridging of energies and it's showing that there's development here. So if, ooh, if you're single, if you're single, 
you may be getting your boo. You might be finding yourself a boo <laughs> this month. Um, could be with a Pisces. We also have Taurus and Libra energy here. But so, anyways, um, Nine of Pentacles and the Empress, again, it's showing that you are just flourishing. You are well off. You're taking good care of yourself. You're taking good care of your appearance, your looks, your body, your health, your fitness. Like, you're just really on point. You're feeling the best you've felt in the longest time. And I'm really seeing whoever I'm connecting with, you're in this feminine energy of really being receptive and in just divine alignment. And just, it's so positive. It's really nice, yummy, positive energy. I love this for you. I'm so happy for you. Um, so then, of course, including the two of cups, we mentioned that there is like a relationship developing here, whether it's a current existing relationship or someone new coming in. Someone may be, oh, four, right, four of swords, the star, and the ace of pentacles. See, there's this longevity, long term thing going on. I'll explain. I'm picking up on a couple different scenarios, a couple different messages. So, first of all, two of cups and the four of swords with the empress. I would also, so if you're at a distance with somebody, sometimes distance makes the heart grow fonder i'm seeing if so for those at a distance separation you're just like not really on the same page at this moment on a different wavelengths i'm seeing here you guys could be connecting through your dreams or seeing a lot of signs seeing a lot of synchronicity seeing a lot of like confirmation about this connection i'm also seeing here well during this separation it's temporary right four swords are always saying it's temporary it's just like it's not permanent it's just like needing a break an energetic space or even just physical space um but it's showing that with the space allows you and whoever you're connected to to grow as people as souls as beings really finding yourself um i'm also seeing here that another term another way not, not term but another way we could look at this combination is that you have been connecting with someone who really invites you to grow and gives you space to flourish and to really step into your most authentic self especially with the star over here like i'm seeing a relationship a connection of some sort that is very uplifting very positive and inspiring and you just understand each other you very much are on the same page want the same things have similar goals um big wish fulfillment energy totally this may be with aquarius and air sign which is also gemini and libra we also have pisces and cancer Pi cancer pisces scorpio but specifically pisces because we got that fish Hmm. maybe it brought something up from september like when we had the full moon in pisces it was yeah that was a first eclipse in pisces so maybe that's going to be relevant over the next year 18 months for some of y'all um what else am i getting from this just someone that truly loves and accepts you and puts no pressure on you really just lets you be who you are and vice versa mutual love mutual respect and it's just very yummy it's very healing someone sees you someone sees you accepts you acknowledges you makes you feel safe i love that that's so beautiful and then ace of pentacles underneath that which shows like this longevity long term so and there's a possibility of like there is a future here i'm seeing so that's awesome okay let's keep going what's going on for sagittarius show me clearly what's going on for sagittarius in the month of November 2024. What do my Sagittarians need to know that I for be aware of? No, it's not ready. Okay. <laughs> um, November, Saji. Okay, I think, yeah, it's ready now. All right. Oh, okay. Card explosion. Not really, but okay, we have the Three of Cups, and then we have these two cards that fell out Six of Swords, and then the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so where are you headed? Where are you going? So I'm seeing that in November, there's going to be a bit of a break of just having fun. Instead of working and hustle bustle and going crazy and getting a lot of work done, being super productive, that's for later. And I do see you have that coming up in November, but I'm seeing that there is a bit of a pause where you can let down your hair, have fun, have a good time, be around loved ones, friends, family, um, lover, and just being able to just celebrate like there is some sort of celebration or a win or good news i'm seeing just a lot of laughter a lot of happiness lots of like just good energy good company memories that you will keep and you'll look back at many years from now there's something that you are celebrating 
you got great friendships you got great people in your life or this is what you're calling in this is what you're attracting i'm seeing something about your soul family is coming into union so yeah that's nice that's gonna be a good break for you then we have the six of swords and the eight of pentacles so after you know you take some time to play and have some fun and not be so serious about life because life can be fucking serious six of swords and then eight of pentacles now you're back when you're on the roll and you're moving you're making you making plans you're standing on business <laughs> you're being super productive and getting shit done and some of you like i said earlier there could be something about moving or travel um but you have a plan you're dedicated and you're not doing this alone three of cups you're definitely not doing this alone you have so much love and support around you saggy it feels like just like a nice warm hug um i'm sending you lots of love big hug and big support behind you as well so yeah like this is just i love your energy this month oh my god okay so then we have the five of pentacles at the bottom which we had seen that earlier when the nine of pentacles came out and it was like okay you're finding some sort of solution right the riddles the tricks the games the tests life been throwing at you you know you are finding your way out of that and so here we have the five of pentacles coming out again but so this is clarifying you know three of cups six of swords and the eight of pentacles where it's like you know, you may not be able to move forwards and do this all by yourself. You may need to open up to some friends or, you know, get some help, some sort of help or assistance. Financial help is for, for one, as well as just emotional help. Because some of you have been doing things all on your own and you've been feeling very stuck and alone or like lonely. So I don't know if this is about joining some sort of community or see. Mm -hmm. Let me see. It's the Five of Pentacles, Chariot the fool i was gonna say like some i was gonna say whether it's about seeking out community or even taking things to like a legal matter like a lawyer like but i'm not seeing that in the cards but that's just something i intuitively wanted to say but you're finding solutions y'all you're definitely finding solutions again the chariot's back here with the fool it's the same cards from earlier clearly i didn't shuffle enough to mix it up but it's just signifying and confirming that you are finding a way out and you are finding solutions to issues and also with the help of other people that's making things a lot easier teamwork makes the dream work baby all right so let's keep going let's see where you're headed where sagittarius headed all right so you see you're on a move you got plans um you have a team or you know you're finding a lot of help or helpful resources um and so the ball is really rolling in your favor it's not you know it's interesting how we start from the nine of pentacles now we're at the eight so there is a bit of like you're not quite there yet keep going so this nine of pentacles because this isn't the end all be all we got to get to the 10 right we got to get to the 10 so spirit is saying don't give up now don't slack off don't lose sight don't lose your focus keep going take a break and have fun right take a break and have fun and have you know play like enjoy rest get your sleep the four swords earlier definitely make sure you're getting plenty of sleep and slow down but then keep going like don't don't get distracted and don't just slack off now keep fucking going <laughs> and you are and you're motivated though the eight of pentacles you're definitely motivated here which we love to see it so let's keep going oh wait yeah before i even shuffle anymore the seven of pentacles at the bottom when i stop shuffling so it's just like literally like you're on the right track but keep fucking going and patience is definitely needed your fruits of your labor they're growing but they're not quite at the harvest you're gonna want to give it a little bit more time because the fruits are going to get bigger okay or it's like over here i have an apple tree and i normally can't pick the apples until honestly probably now like i still haven't picked the apples <laughs> it'd probably be best now because we've had some frost we had a little snow giving it that nice little sweetness having to wait for the apples to become red and ripe although they didn't really get that much sunlight so they're not super red but you know versus picking it in august like you're gonna have bitter apples so allow your pentacles to grow nicely and as big as possible and then you gotta give it time for it to become ripe but it will be worth it it will be worth it two of swords all right so crossroads vibes here we still have the seven pentacles at the bottom so now it's like all right do you keep going is this it are you satisfied do you want to put a little bit more time a little bit more energy into this where are you at are you ready to harvest your fruits are you ready maybe maybe you are use your discernment trust yourself there is something about that full moon in taurus that's important for you something will be illuminated around the let's see here what day is that let me look at my calendar the 15th so next friday depends on when you're listening to this reading of course but if you're listening to this reading like you know near future vibes 
yeah, next Friday the 15th, we got that full moon in Taurus, so perhaps there will be some sort of clarity that you get that helps you make this decision about whether or not to keep going or if you've done enough. So let's take a peek underneath the Seven of Pentacles, we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. <laughs> oh my god okay so i'm actually gonna pull some because it's literally just kind of saying like what you're gonna do weighing all your options what feels best what's gonna get you the highest reward the most abundance you know um but it's showing that you're really just in this flow all right what's going on for sagittarius november 2024 we got the queen of cups and then we have the devil don't let your emotions get in the way of some of these choices that you have coming up. Because some of these choices, let's see, the devil, the four of cups, and the high priestess. You're going to need to listen to your intuition very much. And you got to stand, stand your ground, really assert yourself, and like no turning back on something like a decision okay there's a decision you're making in november and it's really 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 important that you stand firmly on that because i'm seeing that there might be something that comes up regarding whatever this choice is there's going to be an opportunity that comes up that is like are you sure you want to it's kind of like are you sure you want to confirm are you sure or do you want to give that give this another chance type of energy and so your intuition is going to know Look at how the high priestess stands out from the devil and the four of cups because it kind of feels like there's something taking you out of your flow, out of your rhythm. It's a distraction. It's like something. It's kind of. Hmm, it's like tempting, but your intuition is guiding you like stand your firm ground. Like, yeah, I, I'm actually seeing that nine of, nine of uh, wands with the four of pentacles. I do actually see you withholding or not giving in to what is this devil because i'm seeing like if someone's trying to come in like remember we had this whole like reaching out energy or like something coming back from the past possibly for some of y'all oh does mercury go oh do we have pre-shadow mercury retrograde this month i think we do at the end of november shit <laughs> oh no <laughs> okay sorry y'all i just i just forgot i'm like okay mm i'm gonna keep that in mind okay so i'm seeing that there will be possibly a, like a revisitation or like an opportunity that you once rejected in the past or you like you made a decision to like remove yourself from I'm seeing this possibly coming back around um and what i was gonna say is some of you are gonna be like emotionally manipulated to give into this again so that's where you really got to be strong and listen to your gut because I mean, your intuition knows. Your intuition knows. I'm, I'm really, my eyes are really drawn to the puppies, the little dogs in the bottom. And like dogs, they're, they're known to be very loyal. They're, the term is a man's best friend. Bitch, they're a girl's best friend too. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Literally, bitch, like literally. Um, but you know, dogs, they're known for their loyal loyalty and they just they're happy when they're when their owners are home when their owners come home from work or grocery store the dog's just always just happy and cheery and hyper and loving and affectionate um and i'm wondering if someone's trying to like persuade you with that devil to the queen of cups and the four of cups trying to make you change your mind so that might be something to like look out for maybe a bit of a test keep keep that in mind I like I don't even clarify any of these cards like the bottom of the deck's doing a damn well good job clarifying it so I don't feel the need to keep clarifying let's just like keep pulling some more we have we got a good couple minutes to look into other things maybe I'll pull from a different deck and see what other messages we got but let's see anything else for Sagittarius in November 2024 like after this decision or this this choice okay we're going back to the nine of pentacles here you see how this card just like flipped itself right here okay and the four of wands yeah there's just your life is becoming more stable we have the sun at the bottom leo energy seeing you just step into more stability more harmony everything's aligning right the stars the planets are aligning in your favor <laughs> saggy um we have mars in leo that's going to be a very harmonious time for sagittarius placements for sure um you know the fire energies just really go well giving you that boost of motivation giving you that drive giving you that focus and um 
yeah, I'm just feeling really great, feeling very stable, able to really, I'm seeing, oh, sun, five of cups, the ten of pentacles, let's see here what that is about. There's some kind of, ooh, okay, there's something going on in your living situation it feels more personal. I, I would say, oh, maybe it's work. But this if it's work, it's because it's like you come home and you're still thinking about the matter. And it really just has you an emotional wreck. Oh, my dog is upstairs now being super loud. <laughs> She's just in this entire reading. Um, yeah, it, it just seems like there is a lot of emotional unpacking. What was that? The sun. There's a little bit of some down moments, a little bit of some heavier times in November. But... I like that the sun's come out and even the fool, which shows that you're not going to be in that for very long and that you're very stable, but, hmm, okay. I'm going to switch decks, y'all. Let's switch decks, yeah. Let's do that. Okay, my goodness. What's going on for Sagittarius? Any other messages that we didn't cover that Sagittarius should know, look out for, be aware of? I'm going to just, let's shimmy these cards up here. Let's get out of the frame, Okay. We got all this space. What else can you tell Sagittarius? Anything else that's important that will be helpful or useful for Sagittarius in the month of November 2024? Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus placements. What do they need to know? Thank you so much. It's a stack. Let's, let's go for it. Why not? Ace of Pentacles. Look at all these golden opportunities. So this month, definitely going to be focused on the material world. And again, definitely seeing money, definitely seeing new jobs, or it's just something materializing. <sighs> Hitting the jackpot. Yeah, baby. Okay, so underneath the Ace of Pentacles, we have the Two of Wands. Interesting, right? One, two. So you're doing things like in steps, like one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so now crossroad, decision making time. What you're gonna choose, what you're gonna go, what pinnacle are you going to commit yourself to? Let's see. Two of Wands to the Four of Swords. You're gonna need some time, <laughs> apparently. Okay, so you're like, okay, do I go left or go right? Let me sleep on it. Let me actually sleep on this, give it a little bit of thought, um, you know, just connect with my spirit guys. I might need to meditate on this. Okay, very so very smart, very wise. Let's see, underneath the Four of Swords, we have the Queen of Cups. Oh, sorry, King of Cups. So yeah, definitely trying to intuitively listen to your soul, listen to your gut, listen to what spirit is guiding you towards. Very smart, y'all. Very, very smart. You're feeling things out this month. You're needing to feel out this decision and really consider your emotions here. This is the decision that will affect and impact you emotionally, big time. Okay, underneath the King of Cups, we have, this is the last card, the Three of Wands. Okay, oh my gosh, <laughs> this is so funny. We go one, two, and then four swords. We're like, let's just take a break. I don't know what to do. What's the next step? And now we have three, and now we have three. <laughs> it's so funny. I honestly, when the, when I seen the Two of Wands underneath the Ace of Pentacles, I was like, why well, should it be one, two, three? That's why I literally said it. But then it was the four. I'm like, oh, okay, I guess not. And then after taking a little bit of a break to figure things out, now we're on step three. So you go one step, two step, take a break, three step, next, next, next. You get me? So now it's like you're making some sort of plan. You're making a decision. What's this decision about? Page of Swords. Definitely get some more information on this. Tell me about this two of wands. What's this choice, right? Because we had the two of swords earlier. And that was true, right? We were saying the same thing. Two of swords is the queen of cups. You're going to need to really tap into what your higher self is guiding you to. Okay, two of wands. What's this choice? What's this decision for Sagittarius? Hmm. Six of wands. This is maybe about your public image or your career or something to do with a project or hmm. other people might be involved. We have judgment at the bottom. Definitely feeling like, are you judging somebody? <laughs> final decision as well or it seems like whatever this choice is it cements something it like solidifies something two of wands for sagittarius what do we got tower reverse Ooh, Ooh. spiraling <laughs> a bit of a chaotic energy some things you just can't control what is this fool Ooh, and what the devil 
Really? And the Knight of Pentacles. So you're gonna so basically what this is saying Ace of Swords. And then we have the Four of Cups again from earlier. Basically what this is saying, with, okay, Ace of Swords, let's talk about this. So here you are, you're trying to figure out, you're trying to prepare, you're trying to be like 10 steps ahead, trying to really be wise about this choice. But the thing is, hmm, Six of Wands and the Tower Reverse. First of all, where are we at with this time? Okay, I gotta wrap this up. It's really important... How would I say this? Like, you can't control or you can't change other people or what people think of you or their expectations or any of that shit. It also, with the Tower Reverse, there may be resistance to change or there may be people resistant to you making these changes, right? So, I don't know, this is getting weird. I'm not gonna wrap up your reading, so this is probably why the energy is feeling a little wonky showing whatever path you're taking it launches this new chapter this launches a brand new field brand new path unlocked fool to the devil you got to be careful okay you whatever you're getting involved in or whatever you're stepping into very very difficult to remove yourself once you commit to this or once you dibble dabble into this it's going to be very difficult to break away i would also say hmm there's something about old patterns coming up here especially with the tower reverse there is a bit of like old habits old cycles be mindful of that be mindful of that i feel the best approach because i don't know if you can avoid this devil i don't know if the best maybe your best approach is the knight of pentacles and the ace of swords move slowly keep your eyes peeled sharp laser vision cutting out all the bullshit distractions speak your truth you'll see through any lies and deception you just slow down take it slow take it slow really feel your way through huh. i don't know sachi i hope this helps what a weird way to end the reading but that's where i, I gotta leave it here okay this is just that's all i want to say that's all i got <laughs> but i hope that you enjoyed thank you so much for all the love and support i am grateful for you i hope that you have an amazing day and i will catch you in your next reading saggy bye